Given the equation, if d is equal to 2 and m is equal to 4, what is the value of n? To solve this question, we need to substitute in our known variables, d and m, and then use opposite operations to isolate and solve for the value of n. So let's start by making those substitutions. We have m, which we know is equal to 4, times n, our unknown variable, so we leave that as it is, minus 4 is equal to 67 minus n, again unknown, plus d, which we know is 2, times n, our unknown, plus 3. And now that we've written all that out, we can start to simplify. Starting with our parentheses, we need to simplify everything in these two sets of parentheses. Over here on the left-hand side, we just need to do distributive properties, so we can start there. 4 times n will give us 4n, and 4 times a negative 4 will give us a negative 16. That's equal to 67 minus n plus, we'll do distributive property again, 2 times n will give us 2n, and 2 times 3 will give us 6. Now, and let's actually, before I change colors, we can simplify a little bit further in this set of parentheses because we have two like terms right here, n plus 2n. If it exists in math, there's always one of them. So 1n plus 2n gives us 3n plus 6 minus 67, and then we bring everything else over. Now, there's one last distributive property step that we can do here because this negative sign must be distributed to both numbers inside the parentheses. Again, if it exists in math, there's always one of them. So this is really a negative 1 being distributed. Negative 1 times 3n will give us negative 3n, and negative 1 times 6 will give us negative 6. Now those parentheses are completely gone. We can bring everything else down and start to do some opposite operations. Here, well, actually, we have two more like terms that we can combine, so we can do that quickly. 67 minus 6 will give us 61 minus 3n, and now we can start to do opposite operations, starting with negative 3n. This 3n is being subtracted, so the opposite operation is to add 3n to both sides. These 3n's will cancel, giving us 7n minus 16 is equal to 61. Then... 16 is being subtracted, so the opposite operation is adding 16 to both sides. These will cancel, giving us 7n is equal to 1 plus 6 will give us 7, and 6 plus 1 will give us 7, so we'll have 77. Then, for our last step, 7 is being multiplied to n, so the opposite operation is dividing both sides by 7. These 7's will cancel, giving us n is equal to 77 divided by 7 is 11, making that our correct answer.